नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलाम वालेकुम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग कैसे आप सब बहुत बढ़िया होंगे मैं आ गया हूँ फिर से पूरे जोश के साथ इस बार पूरी तैयारी के साथ आया हूँ और आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं अ हीरो इंग्लिश लिटरेचर जो कि क्लास सेवन डी ए वी के बुक का एक चैप्टर है और इसको आज हम पूरे एनिमेशन के साथ पढ़ने वाले हैं तो यार वीडियो जो है बहुत ही मेहनत कर से बनती है तो यार वीडियो को लाइक करो सब्सक्राइब नहीं करें जैसे सब्सक्राइब करो आ गया हूँ मैं पूरे जोश के साथ तो मेरे मनोबल के लिए एक लाइक और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया जैसे सब्सक्राइब करो तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं पढ़ना अ हीरो फुल एनिमेटेड वीडियो है तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं इस चैप्टर को For Swami, events took an unexpected turn. Father looked over the newspaper. He was reading under the hall lamp and said, "Swami, listen to this news: an act of bravery of a village lad who, while returning home by the jungle path, came face to face with a tiger. The boy had with the tiger and his flight up a tree where he stayed the half a day till some people come there, they and kill the tiger." What do you say to that? I think he must have been a very strong and grown up person, not at all a boy. How could a boy fight a tiger? You think you are wiser than the newspaper? A man who has strength of elephant and yet be a coward whereas another may have the strong of a straw, but if he has courage, he can do anything. Courage is everything, strength and these are not important. How can it be father suppose i have all the courage what can i do if a tiger should attack me leave alone strength can you prove you have courage let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room yeah yeah yes we are going to meet in elders in our cricket club here after we are buying brand new bats and balls Our captain has asked me to tell you. Well, see about it later. You must sleep alone here after. Oh ho! From the first of next month, I will sleep alone, father. No, you must do it now. It is disgraceful sleeping beside Granny or Mother like a baby. You are in the second form, and I don't eat or like the way you are being brought up. Why do you look at me while you say? I hardly know anything about the boy. No, no, I don't mean you. If you mean that your mother is spoiling him, tell her so and don't look at me. During night, Miss Father sat gloomily gazing at the newspaper on his lamp. Swami rose silently and tiptoed away to his bed in the passage. Granny was sitting up in her bed and remarked, "Boy, are you already feeling sleepy? Don't you want to story?" Swami made wild gestures to silence his granny, but that good lady saw nothing. So Swami threw himself on his bed and pulled the blanket over his face. Granny said. Don't cover your face. Are you really very sleepy? So I'm a lint over and whispered. Please, please keep quiet, Granny. Don't talk me, and don't let anyone call me, even if the house is on fire. If I don't sleep at once, I shall perhaps die. He turned over, curled and snored under the blanket. Till. He found his blanket pulled away. Presently, father came and stood over him. "Swami, get up," he said. He looked like an apparition in the semi-darkness of the passage, which was lit by a cone of light from the hall. Swami stood and groaned as if in sleep. Father said, "Get up, Swami." Granny pleaded, "Why do you disturb him?" Get up, Swami," he said for the fourth time. And then what? And Swami got up. Father rolled up his bed, looked it under his arm, and said, "Come with me." 
Swami looked at his granny, hesitated for a moment, and followed his father into the office room. On the way, he threw a look at Peel of his mother, and she said, "Why do you take him to the office room? He can sleep in the hall, I think." I don't think so," father said, and Swami slunk behind him with bowed head. Let me sleep in the hall, father," Swami pleaded. "Your office room is very dusty, and there may be scorpions behind your law books." "There are no scorpions, little fellow. Sleep on the bench if you like." "Can I have a lamp burning in the room?" "No, you must learn not be afraid of darkness." It is only a question of habit. You must cultivate good habits. Will you at least lay the door open? All right, but promise you will not roll up your bed and go to Granny side at night. If you do it, mind you, I will make you the laughing stock of your school. Swami felt cut off. from humanity he was pained and angry he didn't like the strain of cruelty he saw in his father's nature he hated the newspaper for printing the tiger's story he wished that the tiger hadn't spared the boy who didn't appear to be a boy after all but a monster as the night advanced and the silence in the house deepened his heart beat faster tuk, 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 tuk. he remembered all the stories of devils and ghosts he had heard in his life how often heard his chum money seen the devil in the banyan tree in his street end And what about poor Munisami's father, who spit out blood because the devils near the rivers had slept his check when he was returning home late one night, and so on and on. His thought continued. He has faint with fear. A ray of light from the street stared in and cast shadow on the wall. Throughout the stillness, all kinds of noise reached his ears, like the ticking of the clock, tick 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 tick, rustling of trees, snoring sound, the some vague night insect humming. Mm, mm, mm. He covered himself so completely that he could hardly breathe. Every moment he expected the devils to come up to carry him away. There was the instance of his old friend that he in the fourth class who suddenly disappeared and was said to have been carried off by a ghost to Siam or Nepal. Swami hurriedly got up and spared his bed under the bench and crouched here. It is seen to be a much safer place, more compact and reassuring. He shut his eyes tight and encased himself in his blanket once again, and known to himself, fell asleep. And his sleep was racked with nightmares. A tiger was chasing him. His feet stuck to the ground. He desperately tried to escape but his feet would not move. The tiger was at his back and could hear its claws scratch the ground. Scratch, 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 scratch and then light third. Swami tried to open his eyes. But the eyelids would not open and the nightmares continued. It threatened to continue forever. 
Swami groaned in despair. With a desperate effort, he opened his eyes. He put his hand out to feel his granny's presence at his side as was his habit. But the only touched the wooden leg of the bench and his lonely state come back to him. He sweated with fright and now what was this rustling? He moved to the edge of the bench and he started into the darkness. Something was moving down. He lay gazing at in horror. His end had come. He realized that the devil would presently pull him out and tear him. And so why should he wait? As it came nearer, he crawled out from under the bench, hugged it with all its might, and used its teeth on it like a mortal weapon. Ayyo! Something has bitten me. Went forth an agonized thundering cry and was followed by a heavy trum- tumbling and fell amidst furniture. In a moment, father, cook and a servant come in carrying light. And all three of them fell on the burglar who lays amidst the furniture with a bleeding ankle. Congratulations was sold on Swami next day. Thank you.